Hey everyone, it is me, and I'm here for mine and Caitlin's one month update. Since she is a month old, or she's five weeks, and she'll be six weeks on Tuesday. So, um, basically what's happened, I'll show you her first. She's wide awake right now. Say hi Caitlin. Say hi. Mm -hmm. Oh. I spit out your oh yeah. Till she's very alert. She can move her head around pretty much fine. Or she still has that newborn like, oh my head is too big for my body, which it is. <laughs> but um she's doing great. She is on formula. Um because I tried breastfeeding for around a week and a half and right off the bat um, I was damaged they told me and so after about a week and a half I saw a lactation consultant and she told me to pump and one thing that I they didn't tell me was that uh, she dropped her binky oh thank god it landed face up um that if you pump under a month is when your body is getting into its routine on breastfeeding so they didn't tell me until I started going to mommy and me classes which I'll get into later that if you pump under a month it can either really help you or and you can still produce enough or you can completely dry up which is what happened to me so I was really kind of mad about that although she did get the most important milk um, most important part of the milk. So, I was forced to go on formula, which I wasn't really happy with. That's not what I wanted to do, and I was really beating myself up for it for a long time. But, then, after another week of pumping in her, she, I, when I started pumping, I was getting, like, I was pumping both sides at the same time, and I was getting a good seven or eight ounces per um, time I was pumping, and I was pumping every two to three hours, which is what she told me to do. And then about a week, after about a week of doing that, I started decreasing my amount of milk that I was pumping out to the point where on one side I just wasn't even getting anything after 30 or 45 minutes of pumping. When before it would take me about 15 minutes and I'd get the 7 or 8 ounces total. So, um, a week after I started pumping, so this is a good three and a half weeks or whatever, um, she told me to go on formula because I, I had tried the fenugrec and all that stuff, but it just wasn't helping. So, word of warning to any of you that start pumping, make sure that you can breastfeed at the same time because, or you can breastfeed along with pumping because that's what did me wrong and forced me to go on formula. So, that is the reason why she's on formula. Um, she's doing perfectly fine, though. Her first doc, or her first pediatrician appointment, when they weighed her, she was 8 pounds, 13 ounces. Then the next one, she was 9 pounds, 7 ounces. And then the last one, she was 9 pounds, 9 ounces. And then she goes back on Halloween. So, we, that is basically her, um, her month, what has gone on. What she's been doing is she's been lifting her head, and she has been making a lot of noises, like she's trying to talk to you. She'll, like, make, <laughs> really. And she makes a lot of funny faces, and she'll, like, smile. Um, but... She'll make sounds like she's saying all good, which is kind of funny. Oh, be careful, Dad. Um, and so, and then she'll really, she'll try and get your attention if you're not paying attention to her. And it's really kind of funny because she'll just like start making really loud noises. Not like she's crying, but yeah. Um, and it's not like I don't give her attention. I pretty much give her attention all the time. Oh, see, I get sick of it, Mommy. I get sick of it. Yeah, she's a very active baby. 
she does not like to sit still and she does not like to be held like a baby like this for very long she tries to sit up but, so you have to kind of hold her like she's sitting on her own and then you just have your arm there just in case her head she goes a little crazy but so she already is trying to be a little bit independent and also I know you're not supposed to do this but like you know how um, because they'll become bow-legged or something like that she likes to try and stand up so what we do is we kind of hold her where she's barely standing up but we're holding her up but she is getting really strong yeah I'm talking about you I'm talking about you yes I know so also another thing she's getting really bad gas which I think was because she wasn't she wasn't acting like she was full so we started trying to feed her more and I think what we started doing was we started overfeeding her for a little bit so she was getting a tummy ache so I think that's what happened and why she was getting really fussy after each feeding and then she'd have to pass up with gas but um, now what we're doing is we're feeding her half as much but twice as often so she's eating about every hour, hour and a half, uh, about two ounces which she still doesn't act like she's full but if you give her a binky she acts fine. I think what's happening is she's eating so fast her stomach isn't feeling like it's full but she is so after you give her a binky she's excuse me she's fine and then yeah so that is her month my month um, is been a has been great actually. She gets all of her calories in the daytime, so what happens is she only wakes up about once in the middle of the night. Like uh, two nights ago, she woke up at 2:30, and she was up until 3:30. So and but she didn't wake up again until 7:30. So she only woke up, and she had gone to sleep that night around 10 o'clock. So. And the pediatrician said that's fine as long as she's getting enough calories in the daytime since she's eating every hour and an hour and a half. So, um, she's eating a lot in the daytime, so she sleeps well at night, and which helps me not being sleep deprived. Tonight, though, she's really, tonight she's been awake a long time, like it's 11 o'clock right now, but she'll go back to sleep pretty soon. Um, but my recovery was not painful like at all. I was pretty much able to get up and walk around after they had me off of the uh, magnesium sulfate. And I was able to walk within two hours of being off of it. I was able to get up, pick her up, balance, all that lovely stuff, sit down, sit up without really a problem. And a lot has told me, or uh, I can't even talk right now. A lot of people have told me that after you have a baby, if you tear, it hurts to pee, like it'll sting. I tore, but that wasn't the case for me. It didn't hurt at all to pee for, for the bathroom. So, I don't know, maybe I was just lucky this time, but I did tear on my left side, so I don't know why I didn't, it didn't hurt, because I was really scared to that it would hurt. Um, after sting after I had her but it didn't at all so um, and then for all of you that haven't had a baby yet and don't know what you do you obviously can't like wipe so they give you like this squirt bottle thing and you fill it up to the top and then what you do is you like squirt it down there after you're done so that's how you like rinse yourself off in a way and then they give you this dermaplast um, and you spray that on and I was really scared that it was going to sting but it didn't sting at all so I'm just giving you guys a warning it does not sting at all if you guys are about to have a baby um, and then they give you like this round cylinder thing of like these cold alcohol wipes which I thought that they were going to hurt but what they do is they give you like this diaper thing and then they give you like this giant mattress like <laughs> it's a pad but if it, w if it was unfolded it was like this size like it's literally like that you feel like you're wearing a diaper but what you do is you put three of those on a little pad that they put on top of that big mattress thing and um, 
it kind of just um, it it feels good because it's cold and you're swollen. So that that's basically what they do in the hospital. And then basically we got home, and the first night she slept all night at home. She slept all night. I was like, I had been staying with the dad for about a m month, so we got home Monday. But um, she slept all night. Didn't wake up. She didn't fuss until around nine o'clock is when she woke up that morning. And we were like, oh my god, because we didn't wake up until she woke up. And so it's one of those things like, oh, that's nice. And then she only woke up like once the night before. And then there was a couple of nights where the max she's woken up is like three times in the middle of the night. Which isn't bad at all. I'm really thankful for that. So, um, so that's that. So I haven't really been sleep deprived. Um yet. I'm still waiting for her to start waking up more in the middle of the night. Um, I went to my first postpartum appointment last Thursday, I believe, and that was when I was around four weeks of postpartum, and I've lost 38 pounds since I had her, which is a lot, and I'm very glad I've lost that much weight. I still have a little bit more to go, but I'm thankful for that. Yeah, you didn't make mommy chunky. You didn't make mommy chunky. Um, you're okay. Shh, shh, shh. See, she's trying to get my attention. She does that when she wants your attention. So then you just come up and give her attention. But, um, here. I'm going to turn you around and you can go back to sleep. But, um, so I've lost 38 pounds and I'm getting on birth control so this won't happen again. I'm going to be smart this time. And so I'm not going to go into detail about that. You guys really don't need to know about that. But, um, that's basically all my appointment was last time because they couldn't really check down there yet because I'm not at the six week mark. But, and on the 12th I have a, another appointment. So, we will see how that goes. And then, let's see, so I think that's really all I have to talk about. I'm not really breast, I can't breastfeed anymore. So she's on formula. There's really nothing about me. I don't have the postpartum depression. I'm very happy. Um, I'm going back to school. I am almost graduated, actually. So hopefully I can graduate in December. Um, and so let me just put her down in her crib for a minute, and I will show you my one month postpartum belly. So, stretch marks is right here and right here and that is my cue so I'll talk to you later bye